two. This is mic number one, that is mic number two in the middle. The third mic is called mic number three, gents rear section. We have mic number one of the ladies front section right in front of me. And we have one on the side and little on the rear. That's mic number two for the ladies section. Yes, may we have the question on mic number two, gents middle. Yes, brother. Yeah, my name is Arjun J. Rao. I'm 19 years old. Different people are at different levels of spiritual level and refinement and understanding. I think Islam is for people who are already quite advanced at the spiritual understanding. Not everybody can follow its teachings meaningfully. Comparing it to a school, I mean people are like at first standard, second standard and at tenth. Islam is like ninth standard curriculum. So am I right that Islam is only for those who are already spiritually advanced? Brother asked a very good question that when we compare all the religions, Islam is at a higher level, advanced level. Like in a school, the other religion may be kindergarten, first standard, Islam is ninth and tenth at the higher level. Is he right? I do agree with you. Agree as well as disagree. Agree that yes, Islam is for those who are spiritually high. But that does not mean a person who is not spiritually advanced he cannot enter Islam. I disagree with that. Why? Because normally for everyone, anyone who enters school, if he enters English school, the first thing he learns is what? He learns the alphabet of that language. Suppose he is entering school, which is English medium school, in nursery he will learn A, B, C, D. Correct? So, in Islam, even if a person is not spiritually high, when he enters school, the minimum he should follow is Tawheed. The basic A, B, C, D of English language is comparable to Tawheed of any religion. Tawheed means believing in one God. So what I was describing earlier when our Sikh brother asked the question about the concept of God, that is the basic. And that basic is present in every religion. But unfortunately, those people who are the religious leaders, they don't want people to follow that. Because if they follow that, who will follow the religious leaders? If everyone starts worshipping one God, then all these religious leaders will not be required. There is no intermediary required. In all the other religions, you require intermediary. A pandit, a priest, a guru. Here it is direct between you and your creator. So all the religions have the same basic message, which is then Islam. But unfortunately, the religious leaders, they don't want their followers to know this. They want to keep them away because if they enter the school, Finally, they will submit their will to God. Submit their will to God means become Muslim. And then these intermediary, they will lose their job. You know, they'll have to close the shops down. So that's the reason. Otherwise, all the religious scriptures, even though they have been changed, Almighty God, He got only one religion for all the human beings. But by the passage of time, the scriptures kept on changing. Even after the scriptures have changed, there have been interpolations, there have been fabrications, there have been concoctions. Yet, in the remnants of all the religious scriptures, you find the message of Tawheed, of one God, that idol worship is prohibited, you worship Him. There may be other contradictory remarks also, but if you search for the truth and you find, so what I say, irrespective, the moment you realize that there is a creator which I shall discuss tomorrow in detail, then you realize what is the purpose of your life. And then, the initial nursery and the kindergarten of Every spiritual aspect, every religion is believe in one God and He alone deserves worship. So, anyone who is not even spiritually advanced, the moment he wants to thank his Creator, he submits his will and a person who submits his will, he is called as a Muslim. Hope that answers the question. Yes, brother.